Hey, welcome to the Learning Fun Show. Today we have some new problems on our daily math practice. But before we start, I want to ask you a question. Do you know what has four wheels and flies? A garbage truck. <laughs> All right, I thought it was funny. Anyway, um, today on our daily math practice, we have one, two, three, four, five math problems. They are addition problems. And I would like you to do those on a separate piece of paper or in your math journal. And when you do that, I want you to make some dots. For example, for this problem here, four plus four, I want you to start with the biggest number. And you'll notice that this is a double fact. So it's, it's, there's both of the numbers are the same, but I want you to make dots for some of these numbers. So just one of the numbers, the smallest number. So you can just pick one of the fours here and I'm going to make four dots. One, two, three, four. Okay. And if you want to, you can make dots for all the numbers, but it's just kind of doing some kind of neat things with your brain, your mind, and kind of teaching you to envision what a number is. So when I do four plus four, I'll go four and then I'll go four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I'm counting those dots in my mind and I can kind of see those. So I would put the number eight right here, but go ahead and put dots next to your number, okay? So the next thing is to put these numbers here in order from least to greatest, okay? Remember, from least to greatest, that means from smallest to biggest. And I want the smallest number here and then the biggest number here. So you're going to have to arrange all of these numbers here. You have 14, 3, 10, 7, 12, and 2. And then for our last problem, I want you to tell me right the time, what time that is right there. So right now, go ahead and pause the video. And you, when you're ready to get the answers, go ahead and hit play. So go ahead and pause. All right, welcome back here. Let's take a look here. When we add numbers, I always like to add the biggest number first. So when we see six plus three, six is the biggest number, all right? So I would say six, and then I would add the smallest number. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put three dots for, for the number three. One, two, three. So I have three dots here. So then I go six, seven, eight, nine, all right? So I can count it like that. There's so many different ways on how to achieve an answer. I'm just throwing some different tricks at you. Six plus six, double fact. All right, I'm gonna put six dots here for the number six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So then I go six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right. Eight plus eight, another double fact. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put eight dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The reason I'm not putting dots for the other eight, because I don't need to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I already know that that's an eight. I'm just adding the next number. So then I add eight dots. And in my mind, I can actually see those eight dots. So I go eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right. So I got 16. Now I have a double digit number plus a single digit number. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and just put the dots for the smallest number, which is four. One, two, three, four. And now I'm gonna add 15 to four. And I see those four dots. So count it with me. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay? Pretty easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy, yeah! All right, now we gotta put these numbers in order from least to greatest, from smallest, to biggest. All right. So let's go ahead and do some arranging here. In my mind, I'm quickly just, just starting at one and I'm going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm counting one, no one. Oh, we got a two right there. So I know the two is going to be here. All right. So I'm going to put the two over here and I'm touching the four. And in my mind, I'm saying, Hey, that 14, that's like the biggest number of all of these. I might as well just put that at at the end, but I'll recheck everything toward before I, I give it my final okay. So right now I have two, three, let me see, 
four, five, six, seven. Yep, seven has to go over here. So I'm going to put the seven right over here. And then eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So right now, do we have smallest to biggest from least to greatest? Yes, we do. All right, now let's take a look at this clock. We want to know what time it is, don't we? When we look at a clock, there is a big hand and a small hand. And I have a video talking about how to tell time to the nearest hour, the nearest half hour, and the nearest quarter hour. But right now, I'm just going to kind of tell you, the big hand when it's pointing to the top, it's something o'clock. And then we look at the hour hand. This is the hour hand. This is the minute hand. The hour hand is the smallest. So right now we'd say that the big hand is pointing to the top, so it's something o'clock. And the hour hand is pointing to the two, so it is two o'clock. It's my snack time. So right now I'm going to go ahead and write two o'clock. All right. Hoping that that's not going to fall over. So we write two o'clock like this. Two, and with two little dots like that. All right. Just like that. Two o'clock. All right. Time for my cookie break, isn't it? Hey, thanks a lot for watching the show today. I hope you had a great day, and I look forward to seeing you here next time. All right. Adios.